Problem number one. At time t, a particle moving in the xy plane is at position x of t, y of t, where x of t and y of t are not explicitly given. For t is greater than or equal to zero, the derivative of x with respect to t is 4t plus one. The derivative of y with respect to t is sine of t squared. And at time t equals zero, x of zero is zero, and y of zero is negative four. Fair enough, let's do part a. Find the speed of the particle at time t equals three. And find the acceleration vector of the particle at time t is equal to three as well. So the speed is really just the magnitude of the velocity vector. So what's the velocity vector? Our velocity vector as a function of time is going to be equal to our the derivative of our x position as a function of time, or we could say the velocity in the x direction times the i unit vector, plus the velocity in the y direction times the j unit vector. I just wrote this in engineering notation. Obviously, there are many ways that you could specify a vector. And in this case, x prime of t, they've already given it to us. x prime of t is 4t plus 1. I just, they just wrote it as dx dt. So this over here is 4t plus one times the i unit vector. And then this here, this y prime of t, they gave it to us. The derivative of y with respect to t is sine of t squared. So plus sine of t squared plus sine of t squared times the j unit vector. That is our velocity vector. So what is our velocity, or this is, this is our velocity vector as a function of time. So what is our velocity vector at time t equals three? Well, we just have to substitute three for t. So four times three plus one is 13i, plus three squared, three squared is nine, sine of nine, plus sine of nine j. Our speed, what they, what they want us to figure out, is going to be equal to, is going to be equal to, or maybe I should write it as our speed at time three, our speed is going to be equal to the magnitude of our velocity vector at time three, which is equal to the magnitude of 13i plus sine of nine j. And then this, we literally, this is, we use essentially the Pythagorean theorem to find the magnitude. This is going to be equal to the square root, square root of 169, that's 13 squared, plus sine of nine sine of nine squares. Let me get my TI-85 out. This part of the exam, we are allowed to use calculators. So we get the square root of 169 plus, the square root of 169 plus sine of nine sine of nine squared. All right, that's 13 squared plus sine of nine squared. And we get, we get 13.00, I'll just round it to seven. Just to show that we didn't get just straight up 13, that the sine of nine squared did do something. So 13.007. So this is approximately equal to 13.007. So we've answered the first part. The speed of the particle at time three equals zero is 13.007. Then they want us to find the acceleration vector of the particle at time t equals three. So the acceleration vector is a function of time. The acceleration vector as a function of time is just going to be the second derivative of x with respect to t, or you could say the acceleration in the x direction as a function of time times i, plus the acceleration in the y direction. So it's the second derivative of y with respect to t in the j direction. And this, of course, is just going to be equal to the derivative of x of the derivative of x uh, the second derivative of x of t is just the derivative of the first derivative. So the first derivative is 4t plus 1. You take the derivative of that, you just get 4. So we get 4i plus, and then the derivative, the second derivative, or the second derivative of y with respect to t is just the derivative of the first derivative. The derivative, the first derivative is sine of t squared. So the derivative of that is going to be 2t times times cosine of t squared. And of course, we have our j. We have our j right over there. And I just did this from the chain rule. The derivative of t, the derivative of t squared with respect to t is 2t. 
Derivative of sine of t squared with respect to t squared is cosine of t squared. And so that is the acceleration vector as a function of t, but they care at time t is equal to 3. So 4 still stays 4. Then you have 2 times 3 plus cosine of 9. So let me write this. This is going to be so our acceleration vector, our acceleration vector at time 3 is going to be 4i, 4i plus, and let's just put if this is this is 2 times 3, which is 6 times cosine. 6 times cosine of 9j. Let's get the calculator out so we can actually get a value there, since they, they, they allow us to use, or almost want us to use the calculator here. So 6 times cosine of 9, 6 times cosine of 9 is negative 5.47, or 5.467 if we want. So plus negative, oh, what was I doing? This is j. So plus negative 5.467j. So that is our acceleration vector. And once again, I wrote it in engineering notation, which I'm sure the, the advanced placement exam people wouldn't mind. But you could also write it in kind of in kind of your the 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 parameterized vector notation or your ordered pair notation as a vector. You could say that the vector, the acceleration vector at time three, you could write it this way too. Four negative five 0.467. These are really specifying the same thing. This is the x component of the vector. This is the y component of the vector. This is the x component of the vector. This is the y component of the vector.